Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your May 2023 mid-month general reading. We're looking at the last half of May and this reading is for our beloved bulls, the earth sign of Taurus. <clears throat> As always, a note of gratitude. Thank you for being here, for watching these videos, your likes, your shares, those of you who subscribe, who recommend and refer to other people. Very grateful for that. Thank you so much. So... <coughs> Taurus. If your sun, moon, rising, Venus sign is in Taurus. If you're cross-watching for a Taurus, it's all relevant. Uh, it's a general reading, so of course it'll resonate a little differently for everyone. So if you know any or all of your signs, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, watch them for additional insight and perspective. And if you find that something does resonate with you, it really touches you, and you're, you'd like to perhaps take a deeper look at it and reach out for a personal reading or information about that for yourself or as a gift for someone else or the reading style just resonates with you and you'd like to explore getting a personal reading with me uh, feel free to email me directly at maggie the number one mcguire at gmail.com you can also get that contact info by clicking the description link or clicking uh, the title of this video i would love to hear from you and i can usually get back to you the same day uh, with more information and scheduling is done in a pretty timely fashion too so if that's something you'd be interested in please email me okay Taurus let's see what the last half of May 2023 looks like for you <clears throat> I am using the tarot of dreams and clarifying with the radiant writer weight <clears throat> we begin with the devil, a cycle, an ongoing cycle, and pretty likely an unhealthy one, which can represent, I mean, the devil represents something which we have devoted or uh, turned out or ended up devoting so much energy to that it's become unhealthy, which can be a variety of different things, addictions, classic addictions, you know, drugs, alcohol, um, mental health issues, toxic negative relationships, um, bad habits, you know, they ultimately are not good. something which is ultimately not good for us or has grown to be not good for us, but there's something tempting about it as well. I mean, you can see this, <laughs> this couple is, you know, in this cage and the, there's all these flames and, and what uh, uh, represent a devil or devilish representative, you know, uh, showing the power over them. But yet the door is open. They could leave. They could free themselves. But they're telling themselves they can't because, because why? Because of all the reasons and excuses we give ourselves for not ending something or changing something that we know needs to be. We give ourselves all kinds of reasons and justifications and excuses, right? With the devil, we have the Ten of Cups, happy home, marriage, family, family relationships. So there's some kind of negative or unhealthy cycle in regards to home and family, whether that's immediate family or extended family. Page of Cups, <coughs> messages of love, support, encouragement, maybe flirtation. With the four of cups an offer or opportunity being presented someone considering it hmm I, I'm just getting that for some of you out there within this difficulty within this family or relationship someone is not counting their blessings they're taking a bit too much for granted next we have the queen of coins taurus Virgo, capricorn sun mean rising venus most likely you could be another fire sign or sorry another earth sign <coughs> with the two of cups soulmate kindred spirits best friends From the bottom of the deck, the overall energy is the fool. A new start, a new beginning, a trip, doing something you've never done before, stepping off the beaten path. <clears throat> hmm. 
Hmm. Some of you might be considering marriage. Let's clarify. Let's clarify the fool for his overall energy. Sometimes a fool can represent doing something quite foolish. The sun and the ten of swords. The ten of swords is surrendering to a painful ending because tens represent cycle completion or full circle. This is kind of, you know, a painful ending, and it might be an ending that involves betrayal of some kind, but it's really about kind of surrendering to the idea that something just hasn't worked out the way you wanted it to. It didn't turn out the way it wanted it to, or you were wrong about it or something. It's just not working out, and so it's time to kind of get up and brush yourself off and move on in a different direction. The sun is light, love, warmth, laughter, illumination, vacations. With the fool, it could be, I mean... The sun and the fool together could be a new trip, taking a vacation, something you haven't done before, somewhere you haven't been before. But the Ten of Swords, I don't know, it feels a little like somebody's is trying to escape something or something is difficult to accept or, or difficult to look at, so they're actually ignoring it. I, I'm not sure if I really like this energy. Let's clarify the Devil and the Ten of Cups. I mean, there's nothing wrong with taking a break from something, but this feels like something needs to be addressed or fixed or some cycle needs to be stopped. But someone's just like wanting to, I don't know, deny its existence or run away from it or something devil ten of cups ace of swords two of swords three of pentacles okay very stubborn energy i mean the ace of swords and the two of swords so the ace of swords is the truth the light a perspective seeing things in the truth for it for what it actually is it's kind of like the epiphany the light bulb going off over your head the two of swords is somebody who's seen that but they don't really want to make a choice or a decision or acknowledge it because if they do acknowledge it, then they have to make a choice. They have to make a decision. They have to take action. They have to be accountable for it. So here they've got their swords crossed and a blindfold on. I mean, swords represent, swords are governed by the element of air, which governs our mental uh, landscape, our intellectual landscape, how we look at things, belief systems, ideologies, perspectives. This you know, it's a card about being stuck, but it's being stuck because you refuse to look at what you already know. It's like ignoring the 800 pound gorilla and might be an, the other person close to you. I mean, there's a relationship here I can obviously see with the two of cups. One of these people is like, yeah, I don't want to look at the truth. I don't want to acknowledge it because then if I do, I have to do something about it. It's like the 800 pound purple gorilla in the living room, right? You know, it's there. You dust around it, occasionally dust over it. But you figure if you don't look directly at it, you don't have to acknowledge there's an 800 pound purple grill in your living room and therefore you have to do something about it. It's kind of like pretending it's not there. Um, the three of pentacles is teamwork, collaboration, or compromise and negotiation or mediation. You know, and all of this clarify, I'm very stubborn. This is like, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to look at it. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to decide about it. I don't want to compromise, negotiate, mediate about it. Really stubborn energy and it's clarifying the devil. Um, which is a, a, a pretty unhealthy toxic cycle anyway in regards to home and family, which is another reason why I don't like this overall energy of the fool and the sun with the ten of swords because it's like something isn't working There's, or it's working painfully. I mean, a bad habit, like whatever the devil card represents, it's dysfunctional, which does not mean it it's completely broken and doesn't work or doesn't function. Dysfunctional means it functions, but it functions in a painful, unhealthy way. Um, it feels like a cycle of something happening, 
and then you know a bad a bad habit a bad pattern a way of of thinking behaving speaking that isn't healthy but the person refuses to look at it or they look at it and then they they don't want to really look at it because then they'd have to make changes right they'd have to admit they have a responsibility a role to play and then they'd have to do something about it here's somebody who just doesn't want to do that they want to pretend it doesn't exist they want to you know it's like they want to go on vacation they want to you know it, it's like a denial of existence and a very stubborn reluctance to deal with something which looks like it has a negative impact on home, family, or family relationship or relationships in some way. Let's clarify the Page of Cups and the Four of Cups because this is somebody reaching out or wanting to reach out um, to talk. Yeah, the moon, a lack of clarity, things aren't completely clear, some fears rolling around there, two of wands at a crossroads trying to figure this out, king of pentacles, king of pentacles, queen of coins too, so we have a, coins and pentacles are the same, so we have a king and queen of, of, of earth here, a couple with that two of cups, so there is a relationship here, I don't know if it's about the relationship itself, you know, like the two people itself, like you and another person, or the issue is in a, an, another relationship or another family relationship and you and your partner are trying to figure it out together. Do I reach out? Do I not reach out? Queen of Coins and Two of Cups. Well, I'm not going to clarify Queen of Coins. Two of Cups. Page of Cups. Four of Wands, the Lovers. Page of Cups again. The Four of Wands, which is one of the Happy Home, the traditional wedding card, the Lovers, making a decision. Uh, a relationship at a crossroads, a choice has to be made which is going to significantly impact this relationship, whether it's about the relationship itself or in another area of life that impacts the relationship. What's that choice about? It could be getting married. I mean, it might be that this relationship has issues and somebody wants to get married to fix them. I don't know. Um, the Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. A new start, a new job, moving, relocating, a gift of money, asking for a gift of money. It might be that there's a, a, a pattern here of unwise financial energy, like spending wisely, or spending foolishly, or not staying within a budget, or not having a budget. And it might be about somebody reaching out within the family network to go, I need help again. And it's like the 50th time they've done this. They're constantly needing help uh, because they can't adhere to a, a reasonable or practical financial thing. Um, I mean, there's a few different stories that I'm getting. Taurus. There's a, a there's there's something that's not working well. It's an unhealthy system um, within a relationship, within a home and family, within how things are run or managed. And the specifics of that, because it's a general reading, will play out differently. But it's it's dysfunctional. It doesn't work very well, and it feels like somebody is resistant to actually looking at that and accepting any personal responsibility for that. And they keep wanting to deny it by going on to something different or something else. Maybe they also reach out for help and go, I just need this because of this, and then it'll be fine. But again, it's this ongoing cycle here. Well, our relationship keeps having these problems over and over and over again. Let's get married. That'll fix it. That'll, I mean, right? It, it The whole thing feels kind of unrealistic, the way that it's been managed and dealt with. And it feels like this cycle needs to come to an end. It needs to be addressed. Whatever the, 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 the primary issue or issues are need to be addressed here. 
rather than trying to, you know, slap a layer of icing on it or run away from it temporarily, forget it exists, or try and tell yourself it isn't there or that it's something it isn't. That's kind of what I'm getting. It's either for you or for the other person. I feel like the fixes have been and are temporary. They don't really address the primary problem. So let's let's wrap this up by taking by getting some advice, guidance, feedback from Spirit for Taurus for the second half of May 2023. <laughs> Four of Pentacles, the Miser card. This is about being careful, even frugal, and balanced with your resources money, finances, time, so that you can have some stability. The Queen of Pentacles, as advice, I mean, she's very practical, resourceful, especially in the day-to-day -day life. This is about being practical and resourceful and smart and wise and economical, financially and materially, for sure. The Chariot, the Five of Swords, death. Yeah, this is a... a this is cutting something out so that you can transform a situation that is not healthy, even if it's difficult to do. Because the chariot is about staying focused on your goals and persevering even when it's difficult. The five of swords is winning even when it's difficult. Cutting out people, places, situation, or habits um, that might be difficult. Death is bringing something to a final close so that transformation and rebirth can occur. Something needs to change here fundamentally. Um, but in order for a person to change or a person to change anything, um, change comes from the ability to self-examine, meaning to, you know, to look at yourself and go, okay, I keep finding myself in these sorts of situations, these sorts of financial issues, these sorts of relationships, these sorts of issues, right? Well, the common denominator is you, right? So this is about kind of looking at that, even though it's difficult and going, okay, what part do I have to play in this? What part have I had to play in this? What are my, how are my decisions leading to this? I mean, change comes from first self-examination, um, maybe even seeking out help and guidance to learn how to change the way that you think about this thing so that you can change your behavior patterns, right? Because it, it kind of all has to originate from here. Um, ending something, uh, bringing something to a close that may be difficult in order to have balance and being practical and economical and resourceful too. If this is about money or money causing issues within a relationship over and over and over again, it's about needing to change your financial habits here. Um, it's about needing to change your habits regardless of whether it's financial or emotional or some combination of both. Some unhealthy cycle keeps repeating itself because the person or people involved in that cycle are not taking responsibility and therefore keeping themselves stuck in that cage so that has to be stopped free will and free agency but it, but that's what you need in order to achieve any kind of balance here all right i'm going to leave it there uh taurus those are your messages for the last half of may 2023 i hope they were useful and relevant to you um, if they were if it resonated with you and you'd like to take a deeper look at something or the reading style resonated with you and you again would like to reach out for a personal reading or information about that for yourself or as a gift for someone else please feel free to email me at maggie the number one mcguire at gmail.com that information you can also get by clicking the description link the title of this video I will see you all in a couple of weeks for the June, almost halfway through the year, the June general readings. Stay safe, stay well. Hope to see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.